Hello everyone, this is me Nancy. Welcome back to you for another live tutorial brought to you by Glitter Sassy and Such. Today is not usually we going live during the daytime, but we're gonna run some quick tests in the morning and we see how it is in the morning because a lot of um we have a lot of inquiries to see if you know can you do live in the mornings earlier so then i can watch so we're going to test some a little bit okay so, but it's going to be a full tutorial live today for everyone so then we get to see a lot of um news everyone that we never get opportunity to see you. So welcome to uh, Glitz Accessory and Such Tutorials. And if you are first time tuning in, thank you so much and welcome for uh, um, you know joining us today. And we're gonna go right into the designs right away so we can do four different designs. So I'm gonna show you a quick look of the nails last night we did. I'm sorry, on Saturday, we have we doing live video Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, off Sunday, and then we're back today on Monday. Just showing you a quick look before I showing all others. My nails have been over two weeks and it still lasts on really nice. It's growing out, you can see. So, hey, money back. How are you, sweetie? Thanks so much for tuning in. So this is a nails that we create on last Saturday. So if you miss this, you can also, I believe you can view it quick on some short clips on our Instagram. Also, you can view it on our Facebook page and uh, on YouTube will be uploaded shortly. Oh, nice. It looks really good so I can see it now. Page and uh, on... Sorry, where's my phone? Happy Monday, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get started with uh, design today. We're gonna do four different designs today. We're gonna do a fusioning. Again, so many requests for seeing a fusioning for uh, springtime. And then uh, we're gonna do the crystal placements. I get some of them here, so cute, on the top of the chanfer foil ombre. And we're gonna do some dragon scale and crystal placement. And of course, the balsam gel for marble. So we'll do two different marble look today, one with fusioning and one with blossom gel. So stay tuned with me. It's going to be fun tutorial during a time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or DM us. And I hope everyone have a great Monday. If you're working, make a lot of money. And if you are, is have a day off, have a great day off as well. So let's get started for the fusionings as a kickoff for today. <coughs> Excuse me. And the nails that I just showed you on Saturday, the reason we didn't announce, we're not going to announce it in the morning until later today. Um, so then you can go back to our post and see it and you can name the theme to get chance to win the mini giveaway of collectible mix bag. So great. So I have this nails. Let me focus a little bit in. Great. Okay. So I am going to pick delight and passionate. Thank you so much for the heart and coming. So I am go ahead and start with, doesn't matter whatever you want to go first. And I already top coat this with matte top coat. So that's why you can see the sway look. Um, I would do it on the top of matte top coat. If you have a no web top coat and you buff it uh, first before you're doing it, it's not gonna be effective. It's gonna probably, it's gonna cause a lead, bleeding problem, like it's blending too much. So I am going to apply the Delight first. And if you do two nails, you should able to like get this dry a little bit first before you move to the next color. Get a piece of paper right here, so that's we need it later. And then the passionate, I really like it because it seems like a really a bright. I love vibrant colors. Hope everyone have a great Monday. So if you do the 
marble nails for clients let's make sure you advise your clients that is none of the nails that probably you do two rings fingers but none of them are gonna come out identical so then they know what they're expecting so they won't be really like upset by not seeing exact identical nails you know like sometimes they show you the nails they see on Pinterest or Instagram from other nail artists so I'm doing the uh, Khao Ming's colors that's it I'll wipe it off and next I am going to I'm gonna wait for just a second and let it set and I'm going to using crystal clear and freaking love this crystal clear is really helps so much with fusion ink especially as like fusion inks marble ink design and I don't even need any other brushes just a brush from this and the ratio they're doing it for crystal clear is perfect so it's not too much alcohol and is not too much of acetone so it's not like bleeding your designs so this is perfect for beginners and if you are beginners and you are looking for for the way to do marble looks perfectly this is the one for you so I am gonna pick up basically I'm wipe off my brush almost like to really nothing and I'm gonna start create my veins if you get chance to watch my live video for so many live video we've been doing um, in the evenings of every night um, there's a lot of them on Facebook and YouTube as well so please feel free if your first time to tuning in you can't um, feel free to be watching them there's so many different create looks that I create that so I am going around the reason it is because I want to create the veins if you can see that the veins that I do wipe off first you can see that the residue right there you don't want to put it back into your crystal clear It looks really nice. I like all the color together. So I hope everyone have a great Monday. So with this, for the beginners, less is more. You don't want to mess a lot with that. Yeah. And every time before I Let's create the veins back here. Perfect. That's what I want to see. There you go. You see that every time I do it, I usually wipe my brush first. So it won't not messing up with looks really nice great so if you're happy with this I am going to do some foil beans in here really like that I'm gonna using premiums I hold chan for foils where my plate though right here I have it right here and this place I put the premiums I hold chan for foy this is stunning you can put it in and it's key only need to key about 30 seconds and then you can apply the foils on it and it's chan for completely everything
you can see how much residues I have it in here that can be transferred into your crystal clear so make sure you have a piece of paper when you work with the fusion aid so our twin tip brush is really compact is a dual and is one end it was the condensed glue gels well you can using it with gel polish or apply the glue gels or the other side is a detail brush and also is um, the light brush as well so I'm gonna apply some of my veins right there you can do this with um, gel painting I did quite a few times with the gel painting too because all of you will request or some of you will request for that So we can do this with any veins you want to. Um, let me see what I have. I'm gonna key it for about 30 seconds. And then we can choose which one we are going to do. Okay. Hope everyone have a great Monday. 30 seconds. And um, we're gonna pick out which one which you like to do. It doesn't have purple, so we don't have to worry about it. We can do this one, the pink, or we can do the gold. You know what? I do. I don't like this gold. I want this gold instead of maybe this. The whole little gold. I can't see it right here. Right here, I'm gonna cut just a little smaller piece. Let me see. Anyone have any ideas you want to see? I can't see it from here though. Okay, I'm gonna read the comment later in a little bit. So um, the nails right there. I'm gonna put the chanfo foil gold, but also you can see so many different colors you can do with. It looks so stunning. Good, 30 seconds. Make sure you press it firmly. It looks so stunning. And then now you just need to do a top coat it. That's all you need. No wipe top coat. If you want to go matte, you can go matte as well. But I am going to just add it on shiny for you. But you can see that how much it chanfer completely on the side. From this premium eye hole chanfer foil. Can you lock out and then back in? Top coat. And this one will be done, but if you want to do crystal placement or you want to do something else, I think it looks great as well. Okay, 30, uh, 60 seconds in under the LED lamp and just now are completely done. This is such a great easy ways and simple way for a lot of beginner. And we have so many, we have such a really high volume of requests for the doing a basic um, simple fusion marble look. So let's go in to uh, prepare for the nails of um, crystal placements. I have the nails, pinks right here. What I'm gonna do, I am going to do a chanfer foil and apply this whole entire the nails and cure for 30 seconds. I'm so excited to be here this morning. Well, actually it's our afternoon in um, Central Standard Time right now and but then the west coast is probably still in the morning okay so here under the lamp for about 30 seconds this premium i hold chan for four you just need to key 30 seconds and i have this which is for the for the um like a spring look i want this one and this three and see how it is this one, the final look for this nails. 
That's a stunning. I want to do four nails today, so bear with me. If you are first time tuning in, welcome to our live tutorials, and thank you so much for tuning in. We're so thrilled and excited to have you. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut each piece, just a smaller piece. I don't need a lot because I'm gonna crinkle it and. Here is my, you can use it with your hands or you can use it with the tweezers. Just crinkle it and then put it all together. I just, I can do it earlier, but I want to show you here. So then that way you can see it with me. That's how I'm doing it. And then since if you're doing with the client, easy to achieve a lot of cute looks for springtime. Hold on. Okay. I can get all three of them. But if you can't get three of them, it's okay. Hold on. I'm going to do one first, okay? It seems like I get all three of them. I can't do it, but it's going to work that way. And then I'm going to do this green. You can see that it's give you me a little bit of the effects of the chrome, uh, the foil look, but it's not too much. If you want more, you can add it more on. I think it looks beautiful by itself as well. I didn't want to do too much. I like this color. The screen coils give you a little bit of effects of just a little bit enough, but not too much. Great. That's all I want. I don't want too much. So. Great, so I just want a little uh, background, but if you want more, you can always press it more and open the big piece and press them down and give it more of um, effects of the foil. I'm going to using condensed glue gel. If you're first time tuning in and first time using our condensed glue gels, it might be feel really thick for you, which is, you can feel that. It's really thick density and don't afraid of to i'm using my twin tip brush on the other end and don't afraid of to apply and blend condensed glue gels nicely something is sticking my okay just blend it nicely and and not yet i'm not keying yet i am going to apply the no white top coat on the top of Ankea condensed glue gel. Uh, Facebook, see okay? Mm -hmm. uh, can you take that one? It looks so dark in here though. It's hard to see Instagram. Can you see okay? It looks. Okay. okay. Next. Doesn't focus at all. Okay. So the purpose of the no white top coat on the top of Unkia condensed glue gels, it will help to grab the base of crystals so fast and easy. So it helps it sucks right in place without worry about it's gonna coming off or if you worry about if later you have to put the top coat on and it's not gonna okay. oh, sunny. I'm gonna try to show as much as possible looks so stunning you can do this is one of simple way to do but you can do so many with this And I am getting this from my, basically is um, collectible mix bag Easter. And also is really stunning, it's so much fun. They are, they are the Easter treasure boxes going on um, 
just I think just launch out on Saturday and so many people loves it and request for it so because you asked for it here you go so don't forget to check it out because it's limited time and limited um, uh, quantity I think because they make it special for Easter only and if you are not sure that you know the different uh, crystal or you if you're overwhelming would pick out the what you're gonna using for springtime coming you should check that one out so like if you get that uh, treasure box will give you a lot of theme and idea for your springtime and Easter it's not only it's just Easter it's like a springtime as well but I'm using it I'm gonna show you I get this design out from my uh, Easter mix bag I'm gonna show you just minutes when this one it been cured and you just literally see me place them together. I just need one more from one more frame from this um, collection frame that I have it here. I love to working with this because it's really it makes more like um, dimensions for the nails. Okay, I'm just put this one right here, and I love the little backgrounds as well. Now I am going to using my beads. You can place them everywhere you want, but here's a tip and trick for pro. When you're gonna place them and where uh, you're gonna place them. Make sure you can place them right between two crystals. It really creates a really stunning looks. You make it looks like a jewelry, a piece of jewelry. The client's weighing it instead of just like a pie of all the crystal on it. So you can do it the same with any type of crystal. Just like a glow in the dark, I think. So stunning. So here's a tip and trick for you is that how you can price the client's fair for you and your clients. If you're just doing a a crystal only and no beads and no frame then it depends on salon location like say if you're doing it at the salon for the price of uh, $15 because a lot of like crystals and it take time for you to design the look and but if you want you can ask the clients you can consult with the clients if the clients would like to get beads and more dramatics then it's gonna be like twenty dollars to twenty five dollars per nails and also again it's really depend on your salon location I just sharing a suggest because if you can ask the clients if you want just a just a crystal only or you want to have the also dress it up you know nicely like jewelry so the clients will understand it and they will have an option to choose which one you want to go with it just we have a lot of questions to ask how you charge and how should they charge and how much should they charge um, so as long if you see any design that you're asking for the questions uh, about that don't heritage to ask okay because I can always give you a preference for your salon and also depend on salon location as well. See how it turned out really nice. See that how I place my beads right between of two crystals. It's so excited to be here on Monday. Usually you see me on a like a night time like when everybody get off work but today I got to see everyone in the morning well sometime we do it during a daytime as well so then we can get to see you all but if you are like having some uh, free time don't um, heritage to check out all the different videos that we had to we'll have it from really basic to the advanced and we also have all different designs and every time we have a different contents for our live tutorials and some of them are really uh, stunning and some of them are we combine so many different techniques together so you can see that I pick 
quite few of them. Oh, you guys, you have to expand it yourself because it's kind of bling my eyes right now and I have a hard time seeing it now. Okay, I can't see it. I'm going to have to move it close up. This is so beautiful. And it's really depend. I have done a lot of different nails, special for all of you who is doing a simple nails, like really elegant nails. And this is like have a little bit dramatic for like springtime. I really like it. Uh, but also it depends on your clients, you know, like sometimes the clients just want really conservative so then you can do it less. But I really like it. Okay, so I am going to cure under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds and then we'll go back and double secure it with the season glue. And for all of you who ask so many questions, who have so many uh, DM, uh, oh, sorry, I missed one beat right here if you pay attention on it. I was just seeing it now because it was a little bit far away. I think I got it good. Okay, great. I think I got it good. Just the one right here. And um, how we create so um, how we create the different um, look yes. of how we create a different look of um. The how we create the looks of um. Okay, I'm gonna key it for 60 seconds. Okay, great. So let's move on to the next one. And I'm showing the different designs. We'll move into the next one right here. Let do and uh, next one we wanna do it with the dragon scale, but for breaking in between we wanna do a blossom gel so you see a difference first. First of all. I am going to here done with the key and I am going to double secure it with precision glue and for a lot of you were asking what I'm using it with to adhere the crystal here is um, the tip and trick I'm using a three-step method the first one I'm using condensed glue gels and the second step, I'm using a no wipe top coat and apply a technique float on the top of the uncure condensed glue gel. And place your crystal the way you wanted it and cure for 60 seconds. And after that, I am going to using precision glue to double secure. Normally, you're probably going to be done. And the purpose of we're doing a top coat on the top of condensed glue gel. So when you're done, like actually it's done already. So you don't have to even worry to go top coat. And then do not put the top coat on the top of the crystal as it's going to destroy completely the shines and the sparkle of your crystal your crystal will look like a lot of like uh shiny same thing you are never going to put top coat on your diamond rings would you or the gemstone i wouldn't because it's going to destroy completely the look of it that's how it's beautiful because of the cut and the shines so using this to really go into each time i squeeze in I just squeeze just a little bit of mouth. And then also, i usually doing a little exam right here. Check it first and then wherever spot you feel scratchy, then you're gonna squeeze it in. And before that, before I put in the lamp for about 60 seconds, I am going to using same twin tip brush, blend the excess glue, 
so then it looks really nice and flawless sometimes and then so that's why one after you're done and you're keying it you're not seeing it anything at all okay great key under the lamp for about 60 seconds if you're happy with this Let me see. You bought the other Roya? Why are you always using a premium one? The premium I hold chan for four, as you say that a premium because it here in the sixty second is here in thirty second. I believe the other ones is you say why are you always using a premium one if you're the premium ones is key in 60 30 seconds and also it key under really any LED lamp. And the I hold chan for four this one, you make sure if it doesn't work, you're probably gonna have to check with the LED lamp and make sure the lamp, if you have the rechargeable lamp, make sure your rechargeable lamp is recharged completely and you key it for 60 seconds. Yeah. So, this looks good, completely done. Okay, so then now let's go into the next ones. We're gonna using a break between that. We're gonna using three colors. We're gonna drop Okay, let's see. We're doing it pink first. Okay. And then we're using a yellow. Just gonna blend it right in here. Hold on, let me do this one first. And then yellow. Let me read some question in a little bit. That's it. And then that's all you need. If you need more, you can add more colors on it. I just want a few colors for the springtime. And using the crystal picker and just sort it. I am going to apply blossom gels. Hey Chi thank you so much. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. And do not cure yet. And if you want to get spread faster, you can cure it. Um, you can apply it a little bit thicker. But if you want to spread slow, you can do the um, blossom gel thinner. So I'm going to pick up some of the designs. And just let it flow itself. Great. So I am going to key it for 60 seconds. And with that one, you can either do with the foil. If you want to do a foil, I'm going to show you how you can do the foil.
and then so gains for the questions is um, we have the question right here your nail art display how do you attach the nail to the door or not is the latch screws no it's you don't need anything at all basically just you hand I just use hand and just a screwdriver it doesn't have to have anything it's just like this this is your tip and trick when we're waiting for the nails we um, I'm using a draw knob that's I show tip and tricks are how you displace all your nails beautiful nails and basically just use hand and twist it all right so that's nail it's good I'm gonna put the top coat on no wipe top coat And I'm going to do some uh, foil on it as well. If you don't want to do a foil gel, then you can just um, draw the painting on it. But if you want the veins with the foil, you make sure you put the top coat on and you key it. Mm, I forgot I can, do the, I can do the gel painting on it. It looks good as well. The gel painting, I really like it. Hello Instagram. Just want to say hello to everyone. Hey Mick, how are you? Thanks so much beautiful concepts hair. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope everyone have a great Monday. Can you please you have the, not the premium ones, the regular ones, the new one. Great. Good. Good to hear you doing good. All right, so I have my uh, palettes right here. I'm gonna using uh, I Ho Chan for Foy. The regular I Ho Chan for Foy. And this Chan for Foy do not cure for 30 seconds. You have to cure completely full cure 60 seconds on a really proper cure lamp. Uh, we're using cure a sky lamp right now. So if you're using some other sort of lamp, um, a good manufacturer lamp, then make sure you cure it good 60 seconds. It's not 30 seconds or it's not um 50 second or 10 second you make sure you have to key it completely for 60 second so i'm gonna using this twin tip brush and i am going to draw the veins Let's go in right here you can see that so I coat that top coat first before I do the chanfer foil gel because you don't want to have a chanfer foil is clear um, and you apply the foil on it it might stick into the residues of sticky layer of a blossom gel so so let here for 60 seconds on this chanfer foil and i just use Chan for foil gels.
Hey, we're excited to make, and I have is the foil that I did it earlier. We did good today, everyone. So it's like a three nails already. So we're gonna have one more nail to do. So it's fun. So then you can name it um, the themes again before we have thirty thousand followers uh, giveaway. Thank you so much for every single of you for your love and support. And if any questions, always DM us with regarding to the products. You can DM us or you can email us if you need immediately existing at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com. And in the meantime, I'm waiting for the nails to be cured. 60 seconds, okay, everyone? If you're using an eye hole, chant for voice, you're going to make sure you cure for 60 seconds. And this is the nails from last night. The Saturday nights that we did so then you can still name them and we can be announced the winner tonight we're not gonna go in live tonight but we're gonna announce the winner tonight this look last Saturday all right let's go in and using the eye hole Chan for Foy and the Veen. Make sure you press it firmly. Um, this is all question for uh, who is that one of two of you was earlier? Um, I couldn't read that, but I will try to answer you for okay, my and money back I answer you okay so if you are thank you so much money back uh, if you are that likes if you are here is here's a look for you for Chan for Foy using um, using I hold Chan for Foy and the ones I did it before is was premium I hold Chan for Foy so either ones work great you just need to keep 60 second for this one okay remember to keep 60 second and the uh, premiums I hold 30 seconds under any LED lamp. But if this one you have to keep under proper proper lamp, which is a really a good lamp. If your lamp are rechargeable, make sure your lamp is completely charged so then it will not affecting your curing uh, process. And also that um, it make sure that the bulbs is still really working and some of them might dead or be out um it's happened to me it's at my salons as well the experience of that and if my lamps is the chalks is were really weak and only one or two bars it doesn't do a full uh job that i expect it to does you know to it to do so then that's why it affects my hearing also the same with i hope if those couple of my like lamp have to do it away if you not have a good lamb or like a decent lamb then you have a couple of the bulbs is not curing properly then it will affect your chanfer foil but I do it because of you I do it for you so you can see that how easy it chanfer from using both different chanfer foil gels we always doing a pre premium I hold chanfer foil for the light tutorial because it will get us really is in good so show you more than just one nails just for that purpose not because we don't believe in the other ones so it works great it just had to be caution of what you're using and just the um, idea of what type of lamb you're using but we're always using premium because it will get us really quick and fast so then we can move to the next one we can do it for you more designs also if you are in the salon you want to do it really good quicks and don't have to worry about i would pay a little bit few dollars more and get the premiums i hold chan for four is this really really easy and it's for us at the salon if i work at and it's helped so much and it go faster which is we don't want to rush the customer but then if you are having a client that wants designs and you don't want to like uh, spend so much time waiting for each nail to be here for 60 seconds i would do 30 seconds for the premium i hold so i am going to apply the no white top coat and key it for 60 seconds and this nail gonna be completely done unless you want something else but i will key it for 60 seconds Hope everyone have a great Monday. 
We are so excited today because we did three nails already. It's so stunning. So next we're gonna do a dragon scale. So I'm gonna do a dragon scales and I will do half a dragon scale on the nails and then half will be your uh, crystal diamond dust pixie. Thank you, Sona Nail. Hey, Sona Nails. Um, I hope I answered the questions and I got all of you here. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Um, I hope it helped. Let me make sure I go to everybody. Oh, thank you so much, Top Nails by Auto. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you do create with the beautiful um treasure box i want to see your pencil oh this one this means pencil this one this is a um, picker this now are completely done great so i have three now so let's go into the next nails show one more show Great, let's move on to the next ones. We have it right here, but I'm gonna put this one on the side so you won't got distracts. So I have a pink nails as well. And I am going to apply the condensed glue gels. Condensed glue gel. If your first time using our condensed glue gel or trifecta, so is it thick, it's normal, which is great. Um, and do not afraid of to just blend it like just blend it down and then it's gonna stay right nice and it's just like the same with one layer of the gel polish so you want to apply one coat of condensed glue gels and the next coat you want to have like one coat of a no wipe top coat make sure I apply good because I'm gonna put not only dragon scale also I will do diamond dust pixie on this one as well thank you so much everyone for tuning in okay no wipe top coat And just apply just gently floating techniques on the top of the nails. Now it's gonna do some I'm gonna do these two colors. Let's do some crystal placement. I have it right here for you. And so excited for this design. Hope everyone have a great Monday. If you are working, just get busy and make a lot of money. I'm just using all of my bars right there in the collections. And also you can find this really simple and easy from um, Collectible Mix Bag Easter. New Dragon Scale. I just love this dragon scale. It's so fun to 
doing this and I have a class even doing it all and tie the nails it's so much fun Make sure you're using it the right side you can use it on the top as a decorations as well as on encapsulating so however you would like it you pick your own design I'm gonna try to connect these two together. Make stunning. Put some beads on. Thank you, Smitty. Thanks so much for tuning in today. You see, we're gonna do run test runs on Monday um, in the mornings and then see how our um all the nail artists that they can able to tune in because we do at night time we have so many people are tuning in after they get off work and um maybe they was having dinners or they are going out it's nice to have you all and it's so nice to get to see everyone in the morning today as well well during a daytime i would say it's morning now Probably just a uh, up start afternoon now in uh, West Coast, but East Coast probably is was like three o'clock in the afternoon already. So I really like this. Um, I don't know if I want to do uh, pixie. I can do one nails pixie in a little bit. For all of you, would you like to see the Diamond Dust Pixie on? I can show one of the Diamond Dust Pixie on different nails. Or we can do it tomorrow with our live videos. And you got to name this theme again now. Don't forget if you're tuning in today, don't forget to get... Um, great. I'm happy with this. I'm, I am going to cure it under LED lamp for about 60 seconds. Only 60 seconds. Let me check quick. This is the best time for you to check if you see if you need to adjusting anything. Do so because you don't want to wait until it's get into the lamp then you can't check it. Which is I like it so much about um, condensed glue gel like three-step methods is really help you a time to really working with your products before it's getting dry so I am going to Kia now because I'm happy with the designs and uh, 60 second and after it done I will able to do um, double secure with the precision glue and we did it's good we're gonna do the diamond dust pixie tomorrow I have fit this one right here I have a design that I'm gonna doing it for you so that's why um, we're gonna do that and we get them really nice look This one, that's a design that I have it for tomorrow. We're gonna do a live videos for that one look. Hey, Georgia. Hi, Mega. How are you? Artistic Nail by Abby. Hey, Abby. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are first time tuning in um, for live videos, it's welcome to Glitz Assassin. Such live video tutorial brought to you, free to uh, you from our team. So we are 
Finish with the gear first step and I am going to using precision glue to double secure all the crystal. So if you are first time using it, you might feel first doing it some exam if you feel it's like really make sure you check and if it scratchy you're gonna squeeze its ends a little bit and then just squeeze it in each time you're using it just a little bit and I'm gonna go all between crystals and the frame bars right here make sure it's all good and I am going to using tin tip brush to blend it nicely Thank you so much for everyone for tuning in and um, the team will announce this. It's going to make here for 60 seconds. If you have any question, you can ask now before we end with our live videos and thank you so much everyone for tuning in all the products that are using with today that are using this collectible mix bag for easter it's really fun to do all different cool stunning designs and i using a few shinings which is the colors um calming and passionate also it's delight and this is the keys crystal clear that nails and this one I using a blossom gel to really as blend and spread the marble gel which is one of this and plus I'm using this one I'm using a chanfer foil I hold chanfer foil not premiums I hold but this one make sure you kiss 60 seconds under good proper kill lamp so the other one which is the last one we using again i'm using from collectible mix back easter and i using um a dragon scales uh the newest one collection kind of blue so nice in the frame so so excited for tomorrow because we're gonna show you more designs like four different designs for tomorrow's as well and all the products can be found at our official website glitzaccessoryandsuch.com and hey Sarah thank you so much and also you got to name this one later today when we are posting on a live video Corina did would you say I couldn't see you sorry um the classes going on, we have a lot of people request and asking for, cl for class. Uh, it's a few seconds left, I think. Yeah, you got about a minute left, you good. Okay, so it's great. So the, all the classes information, you can find it on our official website, Glitz Accessory and such, and search for the class. And also is a great information for the class and if you have any questions any question regarding to every single classes don't hesitate to ask and also you receive over five hundred dollars when you take a master pass which is three-day class and become our master brand ambassador so you can train with us and then travel with us and teach and help a lot of others beginners or nail techs to be more successful so then you can be more successful as well I'm so excited, so enjoy with everyone tonight. If you miss it, don't forget to uh, re-watching our story for today. I will definitely see you tomorrow night, Tuesday, and tonight you wanna hear who is winning of, who the winner of the past theme that I just showed earlier. But this one, you got to um, name this theme as well. Thank you everyone, have a good night.
Thank you so much on Facebook watching and I will see you tomorrow.